the, the, the hub radio. Brassy girls everywhere, titty ass, hands in the air, somebody over here, shaking for the man of the year. And they're working in the studio. What's going down? Man, uh, I, I, you got some uh, some deadlines to meet, I, I understand. Yeah. We got the oxymoron yeah. coming oxymoron. up. Oxymoron. We've been waiting for it. Yeah. yeah. I hope y'all enjoy it. We'll put it out. We're working hard on it. Man. I just want to know. Is my mic on? Turn your mic on. Man. You got to turn it on. Can't hear me now. Can't hear me now? What's up, Punch? Oh, uh, check. It's popping. Can't hear me now. Can't hear me now. What? Yeah, 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 I hear you, I hear you. Right. It's Escalade, man. I heard y'all drop in six albums this year. Is that true, or is that just a bullshit tweet? Man, can't fool the ball to self, man. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, we care about We gonna get it done. Oh, okay. Sure. Now, yeah. Punch, now, y'all about to drop the second TDE album, uh, official album, with Oxymoron. Is there any pressure from having such great success with uh, Good Kid, Mad City? Is there any pressure to make sure that this one is like hella owned just like Good Kid Bad City in terms of numbers? Man, no pressure. Schoolboy Q is from South Central Los Angeles. So it's, it's absolutely no pressure. We've been making music. Uh, I saw a, a picture, man, of uh, uh, Kendrick, you, and uh, uh, J. Cole in the studio. And I was curious yeah. to know, is 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 there an album or project that we can look forward to with with the two? Well, no, no, it wasn't actually. We weren't in the studio. It was, uh, it was backstage at the Yeezus tour before, uh, right after Kendrick got one on call that came back or whatever. Just chopping it up. But, no, nah, they, uh... Come on, man. We're talking about getting it done. But, yeah, you know, let's man. see if it happens or not. Everybody be so busy. Uh, Can we talk about the Yeezus tour real quick? Um, yeah. I saw it, and it was my first time seeing Kendrick perform with a live band. And what went into that creative process? Because I've seen Kendrick perform hella times. And I feel like at the Yeezus tour is like when we got Kendrick. Like I feel like that was his coming out. Like, yeah, nigga, I'm here. So what was the process to go into coming out with the tour? Right, it was like with, with the live band, and it gives them way more freedom. You know what I mean? It's, it's it's a freer thing when you're on stage rocking out as opposed to, you know, just pushing the button on the machine or the DJ because he could team freestyle and a lot of band and just playing some other stuff. So it's like it, it's much more free reign when he when he lives. As far as the production, like we put a lot of work into it. Uh, Dave designed Kendrick Cole's set or whatever. We got the visual shot for it to play in the background while he's performing. So it was a uh, was a lot of work. So as 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 all the songs that Kendrick does live with a live band, what is your favorite to see him do with a live band? Where it's just like this shit is seen brand new every time he do it. Um, I actually like "Sing About Me" because that was his first time performing it on this tour. No video too. Like, right. So it was like, to see him do that, it was like something new and something fresh for me. So I, I enjoyed that one the most. I always like Mad City, though. Like, whenever he performed that, he could perform that in the phone booth and it'd be crazy. <laughs> yeah. Now, okay, now check this out, man. Like, um, I, I, I see the growth in TDE. They, like, TDE has a real rags to riches story. Now, I'm following right. you on Instagram, man, and you got pictures with Puff Daddy and, and uh, other people, man, like real A-list celebrities, man. How, like, how much of the hood Nickerson and Garden Punch is still there <laughs> when he's really, like, chilling with Puffy or, 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 or doing other things, man? Like, man, like, like 90, 95%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, man, it's like, what keeps you grounded, nah. bro? What keeps you grounded in this? Because I, like we're not we not far removed from you know what I mean the actual struggle. Right. I mean we not we not far removed from ordering off the dollar menu at Jack and Box. Mm -hmm. Like just re remembering that like keeps you focused and keep you grounded because you don't you don't want to go back to. Now let's let's be real though, punch. You guys are far <laughs> from the dollar menu, punch. Right, y'all ain't ordering what we ordering. You're not ordering what we ordering at the dollar menu, and, and if it is, it's for a bunch load of money. Right. <laughs> All right, so 
What can we expect from Absol this year? Absol got a project that's coming very, very soon. We we finishing that up right now. We actually shot visuals for it recently, so we're just waiting for the um the proper time. But he got some stuff. Yo, bro, she is super in love with Ab, so like, Ab, Kendrick, J Rock, <laughs> all things to me. <laughs> I am, but I just read. Man, <laughs> you probably don't. You, you you might like this next video then. The first time I saw Kendrick was at a small little hookah lounge in Vegas, and it was crazy. Wow. And, yeah, and to see him progress, and I've seen him every time he's in Vegas when he's in LA. And just to see, not only Kendrick, but Ab, Schoolboy, like, to see them, J-Rock to progress as artists is crazy. I feel like I'm growing with you guys. Right. So imagine me sitting there, <laughs> and they're, like, just in a room, just sitting in a room, and they have no fans. Right. You know what I mean? For this point, like, I understand exactly what you're saying. Dre bro. laughs at me. because tremendous. In my head, Kendrick and Ab are my best friends. Like, I feel like me and Ab are on the same page. Like, I feel like we're the same person. Hey, man. Okay. I, I, let me know before Ab comes here. I'll make sure she's not here. Now, this is Tom Poole. Uh, this is, I'm going to put you on the spot real quick. From uh, being the pres president of the TDE, who would you say you enjoyed the most performing out of Black Hippie? Mm. Which one artist out of Black Hippie did you enjoy performing the most? Do I do I enjoy watching that performance? Right. Um. Man. <laughs> Come on. That's a good question. Come on. Bro. Oh, it probably, it probably got to be uh, Kendrick, just based on Mad City alone. Okay. I can I can I can respect that, man. I, I got a chance to see um Schoolboy perform, man, and his energy is crazy. bananas. Crazy. Schoolboy yeah, energy yeah. is retarded. He, he definitely brings the energy for sure. Like it's, that's his whole thing. Like he gets out in the crowd. I remember one of the shows he did. He told the crowd after he was done, he gonna walk right out the front door. So while he was performing his last song, he jumped in the crowd and actually left and walked out the front. Oh, door. That <laughs> shit is crazy. <laughs> Uh, well, give me give me one highlight that stands amongst the most on uh, uh, uh on this tour and shit with TDE. You said on the tour? Yeah, just on the um, TDE tour, just performances anywhere, all of them anywhere. It doesn't matter. Just give me one highlight that stands out the most. Um, man, it's tough. Probably uh. Maybe Rock the Bells. We closed Rock the Bells with all four guys, Black Hippie, and they uh they all got a chance to rock like in front of the whole crowd. So I think that was probably that's probably one of the highlights. But it's so many, like it's hard to, to even break that down. Uh, about two years ago, I was in Texas at South by Southwest, and y'all headlined the Respect the West. That shit was yeah. That shit was unreal right there because they shut down that show too, and it was kind of like everybody in there even. Backstage everywhere was just like rocking the fuck out to that shit. Like, you know what I right. mean? Right. And it like the speaking vibe of, was good. Uh, speaking of that, South Park Southwest, we did uh the Elmore Madison last year and while Kendrick was performing Mad City with everybody up there. We was on the second floor and the floor actually cracked down the middle. Wow. Oh damn. shit. Damn. So, like, it was it was crazy. They was hype. <laughs> hey, hey, I got another question to put you on the spot, punch. <laughs> I'm swinging haymakers tonight. So, uh, Puffy is rumored to have bad breath. Whoa, whoa! Can you verify this? Whoa, whoa! This ball broke after that. You hear me? You hear me, punch, huh? I said Puffy is rumored to have bad breath. Can you confirm? Mm. Or deny. Nah, nah, I can't, I can't confirm <laughs> or deny. I wasn't that close. I said, all the projects that's being dropped right now, are there any crazy, uh, unexpected features that's going to be on this album? Just one. Just um, out, of, out of all the albums, there's going to be one feature. It's going to be like, you know, like people going to be like, what the fuck did that come from? Yeah, it's going to be true so far right now. I can't really say what it is, though, but it's going to be crazy. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> Just okay, can you narrow it down to an album? Can you narrow it down to to whose album? Like, 
at least to one of the features? Like, is it going to be on Schoolboy album or Ab album? Or yeah, one, one, one of them is Schoolboy. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah. I feel like Schoolboy is about to come in Shaka's on this album. I feel like he's about to hit us with some shit. I feel like he's about to hit us. <laughs> I feel like he's about to hit us with some shit we couldn't never think about. All right, now punch. We know that you rhyme at one point, like you rap too, man. Is it? Can we still expect to hear that side of you, or is it or like a feature or feature on an album? A feature on something, or, or <clears throat> what's up? I don't know. I think the niggas running from me, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you said they really man. Hey, hey. They don't want no parts. You don't want no parts. Nah. You can't. You can't keep up no more. What are you saying, man? You can't spar with Kendrick and uh -oh. and Ab, Schoolboy. Yeah. Rock. I think they running from me. Oh, yeah. oh. yeah. oh. Punch is oh, hard, right? Okay. <laughs> now speaking of control. <laughs> Speaking of control, because I have a lot of opinions about uh, the song and the verse. Don't mind the ratchet. What do you, I'm not even being ratchet, but what what do you think Kendrick's verse on Control did to the whole rap game? Like when he recorded, was it like a, I'm about to kill him with this one, I'm about to shake it up, or was it just like I'm just being Kendrick? This is what you get. All right, all right, all right. Nah, it was it was really just all about competition. Um, we know it was gonna cause some controversy and some headlines, but we know it's gonna like go crazy like that. The, wait, no, no. Like that was. Hey, 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 punch, hey, punch, hey, punch, hey, punch, hey, punch, hey, punch. Does Drake want any problems? He don't want no problems. He already said something. Just me, you never get a reply for. That, but, I didn't even get the understanding. I, I want to hear punch. I heard Fabulous. I asked, Fabulous, I asked, just, I asked Punch. A Fabulous got a new got a new reply. I asked they don't want Punch no a question. They still try Punch. Does Drake want any yeah. problems? I mean, what you mean when you say problems? Oh, okay. Like, well, does he, he on the mic? Okay. On the mic. On the mic with Kendrick. No, not in the streets. Though. He took. We already took it personally. He took. He took control personally. <laughs> he made a couple responses Canada, for it, and, and, <laughs> and he had said some little things, slide mark or whatever. You know, they said Kendrick has said some things. Does Drake want any problems? Uh, I don't know, man. You, you I'm gonna answer it. He don't want no problems. <laughs> oh, we gonna we gonna run. We <laughs> we gonna ride for it. We so, gonna ride for it. Wait, I have a kind of a question about that. When you guys hear heard some of the replies from Control, did y'all sit back in the studio and laugh like for real? That's the best you got. Oh wow. Ooh. Damn, oh, man, wow. laugh like all night, all week. <laughs> all week? Who was the funniest reply that you heard? You, like, you cannot be serious, even like bringing this shit to me right now. Um. You can say it now. All the, all the hype, all the hoopla is over. You can honestly say who who y'all really laughed at, like like my nigga, come again and do that shit in the trash. Uh, probably Pat Pools. Ah. That was the funniest one to me. Damn. Yeah. It's yeah, he had me cry like the victimization <laughs> of a black man. Hey, what's up, Punch? Like, what? Hey, Punch. What's happening? Hey, it's right here, intern. I got a quick question for you though. <laughs> what's poppin'? All right, so you're from the Nicholson, right? Uh -oh. um, I was in there for about a year, right? How did you get the inspiration? Because when I was there, it feels like a lot of, it's a lot, of, you just feel the aura, you know? It's a lot of pain. And did you really envision years from, years from when you were playing everything out, you would be this big, you know? I mean, the thing about it, like, I grew up over there. Like, I was raised over there, so that's all I do at one point, so... Like, it was fun to me. Like, I had a great childhood. I didn't, I didn't know, like, it wasn't supposed to be crackheads, police sirens, and all that. Right, right. Helicopters. I, I, I didn't even know until right. I moved out. Right. Okay. I mean, I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely...
the, the, the hub radio.